So if you were to put the key in and you do a five, four, three, two, one. All right, guys, Model Rocks 321 here, reporting from Phoenix, Arizona. I'm on my way to pick up some Model Rockets. I'm gonna pick up some something vintage, a couple kits this guy had um, for sale. I'm gonna go pick them up and we will see. Hopefully everything's in good condition with them. Some people sell them, the tubes are kind of beat up and they're real old. And they be wanting a boatload of money, so you just really gotta watch the pricing. Even though they're old, they don't necessarily mean that they're worth a lot of money all the time. So just be careful when picking up rockets, um, you know, from a person. Um, check them out. Just check them out. Make sure everything is good with them before you do the deal. Let's go see what we got. All right, guys. So just had a couple of rocket scores. I'm going to show you these kits in a couple of minutes. Um, the guy wanted more than what they were worth, in my opinion. They were some open kits. But I will show you guys what we had. And you be the judge. And you be the judge. So let's take a look right now. All right, so here we go. Got some rocketry gold we're gonna check out right now. So let's see what we got today. All right, guys, so here you go. The two latest scores of rocketry gold. I got the Fire Arrow and the World Federation Star Pro. Both are open kits. Um, they seem to be complete. I took a quick look um, there, but you know, considering I went on and made the purchase anyway. The guy wanted, you know, a crazy price for him, but I had to work him down a little bit, let him know that, hey, dude, these are open. And some of the tubes, we got a little tube damage on this one, slightly crushed. Even though these two look perfectly round, this one I really didn't look really close, but we're going to take a look at all this stuff right now. This tube is really tough, really thick, unless, oh yeah, this is a tough tube. The older stuff, man, those old tubes are really good compared to the tubes that SDs put out now. But we're going to take a quick look at these two, um, part of this rocketry gold. Let's take a look. All right, so we're going to start with this fire arrow. Let's go on and get it out of here. Let's see what we got. There's a tube. Tube is definitely got some warping, some crushing. This is why I told him, you know, I couldn't give what he was trying to get. This is stuck down in there. That's just the end of the nose cone. Let's see what we got. Seems to be complete. Let's see, let's see. All right, that's all shredded. As usual, you know, this the rubber parts. Oh, this one's kind of, yeah, it's broken here. Yeah, some yellowing. A lot of tubes. Look what we got here. Is everything even in here? The balsa wood seem to be, is it gone? The balsa might be gone. That's why I definitely wasn't given, um, you know, a ton of money for any of these. Yeah, there's definitely one fin. <laughs> there's one fin in here. All the rest are missing. Yep. So one fin's missing. So this is a lesson. Be careful and watch. I knew some stuff was missing. That's why we worked out a price. I told him, hey, dude, what you're asking, you can't have, but let's meet somewhere, you know, below the middle. So there we have that. Decals is there. That's a plus. So the decals are there. Tube is crushed. Cones there. Let me see. We got a couple tubes here. The I only need one for the motor mount. I'm not sure why it has other tubes, but yeah, it's definitely missing some missing some parts. There's a parachute down in here. So here we go. SD's parachute, original. Little sealed disc or they're no good. Shroud lines are there. So we have the parachute shroud lines, building instructions. Many rings, a couple, yeah, I see you have a couple motor mount tubes which don't really match what's what. So we have a crushed launch lug, crushed launch lug, so all replaceable stuff. This tube is definitely going to need to be replaced. Definitely need to be replaced there. Um, yeah, other than that, no, you got one fin. So it has one fin, the rest of these will be made, they'll need to be made if it's going to get built. So there we have part of this rocketry gold yeah not complete but fair price cheap stuff's missing so that's a lesson always check if the kits are open make sure everything's there and then you go from that point so next we're going to take a look at the world federation star probe another classic one very rare you don't see these at all but we're going to take a look and see what's in there it appears to be some wood and things in there but 
Maybe be some missing parts. We will take a look right now. Now for the World Federation Star Probe decal sheet. A little yellowing to it. It still should be good. Um, might be good. A little yellowing. I'm not sure if it'll deteriorate once it hits the water. It might be fine though. Then you have your fin alignment. A whole lot of alignment. That's your shot core mount. Everything for your fins to get those lined up right. The card is pretty nice. Pretty nice card. The front face card is pretty nice. This is kit number 13418. I love that. That ring tail is very nice. Now we're going to move on to the parts. This nose cone is still being used by Estes. It's the Interceptor and a lot of other nose cones, I believe. And they're like sci fi type rockets, canopy design. So this nose cone is kind of common. Here we go. We got some tubes. Tubes are looking a little dinged up. Here's a little dinged up tube here. Some dings on the end. Slightly warped, not perfectly round, but not creased. Um, we have a little ring. There's a ring. So we have a ring inside the tube. Here's another tube. I'm not sure if it used both tubes or not. You could have just thrown this in there. I'm not sure. So there's two tubes. Then we get to some wood parts. Um, let's see. So it should be a few of these little fins around here. And then we should have a couple of fins there. So here's a couple of fins. So we have those, look like those pieces are here. Then this piece, I guess that's what make the part that holds that ring in place. This right here, you'll have to do some cutting, I'm sure. Seem to be complete. And I see this wood square dowel right here. I believe that attaches under the bottom, if I'm not mistaken. I think I can see it like right here. If that's not the launch lug, they have a very long launch lug. And I see like a probe right here sticking out. So. I won't know until I start building this one. This may be a build kit. Um, then we have this silver piece here, which I'm not seeing. Oh, around the ring. So Lisa has that. This is kind of kind of cool. Silver decal. I think it's like just a peel and stick. So that was in there. It's good that that's mostly complete. Now this BT-80 ring, this part is definitely warped and crushed, but I have some BT-80, so I'll probably just replace this myself i'll cut a nice piece and replace that because that's really rounded i mean really kind of crushed so yeah like i said guys um if you ever getting kits rocketry gold um vintage kits just look them over if they're open if you want to pick them up from somebody look them over make sure you don't you know people think just because something's old and beat up that it's worth a lot of money that's i don't go by that i only buy that rule i go by you know the quality of it if it's a good you know if it's mint sealed of course you can pay pay a little more for some things but um look things over but anyway we have you know original parachute sds orange parachute shroud lines are good sealed discs they're all gone i don't know why they where they wound up because they all just fell off they're not in the bag but i don't see them and um yeah everything else is pretty cool so you got the um engine hook engine hook centering rings ah motor tube maybe the motor tube from that other bag goes with this guy because it's missing a motor tube and this is a Look at that, flies on um, 18 millimeter engines, so C's, HBC's engines. So we got two tubes here. What's the total length? 31 inches. Oh, so maybe it do take both. Yeah, probably will take both to make 31 inches. However, no, um, oh, here it is, Coupler. Coupler's right there. Yeah, everything's here. This is like pretty much complete. It's got to replace a couple parts. Should be a nice, nice build. Yeah, it should be a nice build. The World Federation Star Pro. Super rare kit. You rarely see these. These don't these don't pop up um all that often. Some kits you start to see recycling around on eBay and stuff, but not this one. Here's another wood dowel. Like I said, I'm gonna look and see where everything goes. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Nice score, I think. Um overall pretty good. You know, didn't spend too much on them. Um got them at a fair price. Cause I told him, you know, nobody, people who know is not going to give you a boatload of money for this stuff. These are, you know, opened and, and beat up. So yeah, definitely I'm um, a coupler. Yeah, two tubes. Got some fins there. Yep. So all this wood, all the wood pieces look like they're there. There's a round wood dowel. Yep. So yeah, everything's there. So this is a cool little fine, neat little fine right here. But also while I got these out, let's pull this up here. So here's the Explorer. Um, a very good kit. Very nice one from the 80s. This is all 80s stuff here. You don't see these that much. You know, they pop up once in a while on eBay. You'll see them around once in a while. This one's still sealed, unlike these ones. This one was uh, kept pretty nice over the years. And the other one that I had from my community post was the Nimbus. 
I was just wondering what you guys thought was the best kit out of those two. What do you like the best? The Nimbus is really neat, unique. I like those fins. And I like the Explorer. They're both good, both good rockets. But overall, these are some great, um, great finds. So I hope to uh, find some more and just, you know, be careful when you're buying. Be careful. Just look at everything. Make sure you don't over, overpay. I mean, for certain things, make sure it's, you know, the value there and the quality is there. So that's how it goes. Be sure, this is Model Rocks 321, be sure to hit the thumbs up. Also check the video that's coming up next. It's about a huge rocket score that I had a while ago. Look at the kits that I found in that. All right guys, Model Rocks 321, out.